Hi everyone. So today I'm going to try to tell you how much bigger is tree compared to G exactly and why you cannot beat tree using G. So I know I have already made several videos comparing tree to G, but still, still, there's still many, many, many people asking uh, how much bigger is tree compared to G and why you cannot beat uh, tree with G and also and they continue to try to beat tree using G Even though they thought they can no matter how many times I reply to the comments They still don't get it or they still Don't believe it, you know, they, but so anyway, this is probably my final attempt To try to persuade you how much bigger tree is compared to G. I think <laughs> By the end of the video, most people would be mind blown by how much bigger tree is compared to G. So anyway, let's get started. And in this video, I'm gonna uh, explain this video by using the chain arrow notation. So chain, chain arrow notation is another uh, very powerful notation. You can uh, read about that yourself. But uh, I have also a I make a video about that. You can also watch that. But again, just a disclaimer: the chain arrow notation is much, much, much more powerful than the G function. So just FYI. So anyway, how big? First of all, how big is G sixty four? How big is Graham's number? So Graham's number is using the chain arrow notation is around three three sixty four two. So in other words, um, how much is that? Is in um, now. I mean, we are gonna try to use the fast growing hierarchy to compare, or at least a reference point as of how big this is. So three three sixty four two is around f of omega plus one sixty four in terms of the fast growing hierarchy, and um, using this example here, you can quickly see that. 3, 3, n plus 1, 2 is around equal to f of omega plus 1n in terms of the fast growing hierarchy. This is around, you know, the approximation of the growth rate of the chain arrow notation using 3, 3, n plus 1, 2. So here, there are four terms over here. So this is the approximate uh, growth rate. So in other words, G64, again, is around f of omega plus 1, 64. So now, of course, we're trying to increase the number slowly, step by step, and trying to trying to see if we can match three. So now, what about G one thousand? How big is that using the chain arrow notation? So G one thousand is around three three one thousand two, of course, using this formula over here. And how big is that using the fast growing hierarchy? Is around f of omega plus one one thousand. Very simple, and obviously, you can see that the uh, ordinal here is not changing at all. So it's still f omega plus one. You're only changing the n over here. So therefore, g one thousand clearly is nowhere near three three. As you know, again, three three has a much 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 bigger ordinal over here. And then now, what about g of a Google? So G of a Google using the chain arrow notation is around 3, 3, a Google 2. Again, very straightforward. So in that case, in terms of the fast growing hierarchy, it will be F of omega plus 1, a Google. So again, you're not changing the ordinal over here. You're only changing the N over here. So if now you can kind of see the pattern already. So in other words, if you want to up your game, by a lot so let's say g of g64 how big is that that would be around 3 3 g64 2 so that would be around f of omega plus 1 g64 that's g64 i mean that's g of g64 so already even g of g64 which is much 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 bigger than g64 is still according to the fast growing hierarchy is still omega plus 1 so nowhere near tree or as powerful as tree uh, so now i mean since uh, increasing g of something is not very useful so now we just gonna use the chain arrow notation instead of using g so at least you can compare 
um, since you know that g of g64 is something like that so now you can try to be three using the chain error notation so three three two three is much uh, i mean how big is that three three two three is actually around three three twenty seven two in terms of the chain error notation and this thing of course obviously is around g of 27 so pretty big already for this thing over here so now we're gonna slowly going up again so three 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 what is that that's around g of three 27 so and then the next one three three four three is around g g g 27 and three three one thousand three is around g of g of g with one thousand g's 27 and three three g 64 three is around g of g of g with g 64 number of g's g 27 so now you can see the pattern over here um so therefore in this form over here in terms of the chain error notation so 3 3 with m plus 1 as the third term and 3 it's around f of omega plus 2 n in terms of the fast coin hierarchy and already you can tell that um, just changing the last term the fourth term to from 2 to 3 you get a much 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 bigger number as you can see over here but still by changing the last term, the fourth term here, by increasing by one, you're basically adding one to the ordinal. So you're increasing from uh, omega plus one to omega plus two. So in terms of the fast going hierarchy, it is not growing very quickly. Still, nowhere near three. So you can already kind of tell using this method, even with the chain error notation, you're nowhere near catching three. So in other words, um, let's see. So this is one of the thing that's brought up by many, many people. They're trying to beat three by, by using G of G of G of G with G64 number of Gs of 64. Um, that is it's that is only around omega, F of omega plus two G64. So that's around omega plus two which is not a big improvement compared to G64 actually, because G64 is around omega plus one. Now, by doing something this crazy, you're only getting omega plus two. So of course, that's not the end. We're trying to beat three three, so let's continue. So now let's uh, try three three two four. So we are increasing the fourth term by one again. So in this case, it's around G of G of G of G with 26 Gs, 27 and three 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 four the number of g's over here is around this number over here so it increased rapidly by increasing um the last the fourth term over here so three three two i mean in this case i mean somebody brought up i mean they're trying they know that this won't be three so therefore they create a new letter so let's say they brought up the letter d so d1 let's say equal 27 then D2 will be D1 number of G's 27, D3 would be D2 number of G's 27. They did something like that, something similar. So in this case, um, this thing over here, 3324 is around D27, and 3334 would be around D of D27, and so on. So um, 3335, uh, I mean, 3344 4 would be D of D of D27. Of course, um, then they, of course, not that's not over. They're going to introduce a new letter E. So in this case, E1 is 27 and E2 would be e, uh, D, 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 D with E1 number of Ds, 27. So something like that, they keep adding new letters. E and then F and then G and then H and then I all the way until the letter Z. So uh, what would that be in terms of the fast going hierarchy? So 3, 3, M plus 1 um, and then 6. Still, this is still four term chain arrow. Then in terms of fast going hierarchy is around F of omega plus 5 N. That's would be represented by the letter F, by the commenters, I guess. So all the way to the letter Z would be around F of omega plus 25 N. So now 
as you can see even you do something this crazy much 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 crazier than this already with g64g's you're still only reaching f of omega plus 25 so still nowhere near 3 and even if you do something even more crazy you, let's say you try to introduce the g64th letter it will still be f of omega plus g64n and as you know that um, this is this thing over here is much 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 uh, less powerful than f of omega plus omega because i mean i don't have to explain that omega is the first transfinite ordinal is bigger than any uh, finite ordinal so even if you do something like f of omega plus 3 3 n it will still be less powerful than f of omega plus omega you can watch the um, you can read about that as well i also have a video on the final scoring hierarchy so basically yeah you can do something like this it will f of 3 3 still less powerful than f of omega and so it doesn't matter what finite number you put here even uh scg 13 loaders number it will still be less than f of omega that's the reason why you cannot beat tree using g or even chain arrow chain arrow is already way 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 beyond g but even chain arrow is nothing compared to tree uh, but of course i want to continue <laughs> just to show you how crazy tree is so now the formula is here so 333 three, three of n plus 1 it will be around f of omega plus omega n in terms of the fast going hierarchy and again this is still a four term um, chain arrow so it's around by just you know increasing the fourth term you are only reaching f of omega plus omega n and now um, you can continue the pattern you can read it yourself i'm not gonna read everything out um, but let's say you try to eat at one more term five term chain arrow of course much 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 bigger than anything with four terms and now you're only reaching f of omega times three so this is omega times two this is omega times three and for uh, six this is five terms so for six term you're reaching omega times four and then for n number of terms you are reaching f of omega square n so i think this is the limit for the chain arrow notation so this the maximum growth rate for this thing chain arrow is around f of omega square n and again I'm skipping many steps already this is way 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 beyond anything that any commenter has ever brought up by using G's this is way beyond that even like this is already way beyond that so um, and of course some people make some extension for the uh, chain arrow notation and even the most powerful extensions only reaches f of omega to the omega and so this is the most powerful version of the chain arrow and this is the ordinal for that now what about tree we know that tree i mean probably most of you already know uh, this is i mean the next one for this is f of omega to the omega to the omega which at the end you're gonna reach something like this this is of course nowhere near tree and the next one after this thing is this one over here this new ordinal over here epsilon naught and of course you're gonna continue iterating this ordinal and after you use up then you're gonna reach this ordinal and after you do all crazy things with this ordinal you're gonna reach this ordinal and then after that you're gonna reach this ordinal and tree is much more powerful than even this ordinal so this is just how crazy tree is so this is the video that we have it this is just to show you yeah you can never beat tree with g not even chain arrow i mean the same thing can be said for chain arrow you can not beat the i guess you cannot beat this kind of chain arrows using g's and this kind of chain arrow is nowhere near tree you can not even be tree using this kind of stuff so anyway this is why you cannot be tree with g and this is how much bigger 
three is compared to G. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.